How are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Casey Star Long, and so I want to welcome you to today's breakfast. Now, if this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, well, guess what? You are in for a treat. So what I try to do every day is just really share a word from the Lord, and I call it today's breakfast because breakfast is supposed to be the most important meal of the day. Now, look, I'm really, really excited about today's topic. We're going to be talking about are you full of Jesus or are you full of food? So I know that it's breakfast. And so maybe you've already had your breakfast or maybe you're planning to eat your breakfast in just a little bit. But I'm going to be really talking not about the natural food, but really about us being full of the spiritual food, which is Jesus Christ. But before I get into that, you guys, I want to make sure that you know about a couple of events um, that I'm either hosting or I am a part of that I want you to know all about. So um, on June the 9th, uh, the Dedicated Women of Christ, which is the Women's Ministry of Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church, they are hosting their luncheon conference. Pastor Loana, she is going to be the dynamic speaker. And I just want to make sure you know about this. Uh, the Dedicated Women of Christ, their ministry is very important to me. Uh, before I got married and actually before my husband and I decided to pastor a church, I was under the ministry of Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. I was a part of this women's ministry. So shout out to Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church and Pastor Tammy Jones. Love you guys so much. And so I just want to use this as a platform and just encourage you that maybe you're looking for just some connections, you want to connect with other women of God. Well, I want to make sure you know about this luncheon conference on Saturday, June the 9th. All right, you guys, well, let's get to today's topic. We're going to be talking about um, being full of the Lord or being full of food. And so um, God speaks to me a lot about food. Um, I know that this is an issue um, that God has just given me just really kind of just an open door to just talk to the body of Christ about food and making sure that food doesn't become an idol in our lives. And I woke up this morning and I was part of a prayer line and um, I began to pray and I began to intercede. And um, the Lord began to just speak to me that a lot of the things that um, we aren't able to, to see happen or to see take place is because we are so full of the things of this world. Now, when you are in a relationship with the Lord, and we know through uh, different biblical examples that, that that when there's a demand on the spirit of God, you know, God meets that demand. It's almost like God wants to know, are you hungry for me? That when you're hungry for me, then you will be filled. And I really believe, especially as intercessors and leaders and those in the body of Christ, um, that there really is a, a place where we need to move past complacency and stagnancy. Really, when we're empty of ourselves and empty of the things of this world, then we will truly have the hunger and the desire of the things of the Lord. And we know that God's word says um, that those that are hungry and thirsty, they will be filled. So when we are hungry and thirsty for the Lord, that is when we will be filled. And God began to just speak to me in my time of prayer. He was like, Many of the people, they're not hungry for me. They're really just complacent. They're really just stagnant. And the reason why they're not hungry for me is because they've gotten full off the things of this world. Many of us are full. We are fat. We are lazy um, because we're eating too much natural food. Um, we're eating too much from TV. We're eating too much from social media. We're eating too much from friends. We're eating too much from everything except from sitting in the presence of the Lord and getting full off of the Lord. And the Lord began to just speak to me and to just really share this message to encourage those in the body of Christ to make sure that we aren't feeding off the stuff of this world, that we're not getting fat off the things of this world. And then there's no room for the Lord to come in. So my question for you today is, are you finding yourself full? Are you finding yourself full of God? Are you finding yourself full of food? Are you finding yourself full of the things of this world? Because I really believe that God wants you to be empty of the things of this world because he wants to fill you up with him and his spirit and his power and his might. I'm reminded of John chapter four when, you know, um, Jesus is in Samaria and his disciples encounter him and they see him at the well. And they're like, you know, Jesus, have you had something to eat? And Jesus says, look, you know, my food is to do the will of the Lord. My food is to be obedient to God. 
Now, what is Jesus saying? He's not saying that he's not going to eat because obviously um, we need to nourish ourselves with natural food. But what Jesus is saying is like, look, my my real food, what I get full off of, what really nourishes me, what really sustains me is doing the work of the Lord. And I think we have to be so comfortable at so so careful as believers that we aren't so comfortable and satiated. Uh, with natural food, we aren't so satiated with social media that there's no hunger, there's no thirst for the Lord. Um, in Ephesians chapter three, the apostle Paul, he says a prayer for the church and we're part of the church. And what he says is, is that I pray that you may be filled with the fullness of God. That's one of my confessions each and every day. God, I want to be full of you. God, I want to be full of your presence. I want to be full of your spirit. And I have to be honest with you guys that if I'm not careful, I will overeat. If I'm not careful, I'll find myself um, just trying to get full off the stuff of this world, getting full off of social media, getting full off of a job, getting full off of the, the things of ministry, getting full off validation and approval of people. But like the apostle Paul, like he prayed for us, he says, look, God, I pray that they will be filled with the fullness of you, the fullness of God, that when we are so full of God, there's no room for nothing else. And that's where God wants us to be. So my question today for you, are you full of God? Are you full of food? Are you full of God? Is God's spirit? Are you full of God? Are you full of his spirit? Or do you find yourself full and fat and lazy from the things of this world? So let me give you an example. Um, there are many examples, but you know, sometimes God, he'll give me wisdom about um, not eating certain types of foods, especially like foods that are laden with carbohydrates, because guess what? You know, after you eat those foods, what do you want to do? You want to go to sleep. And, um, you know, there have been times where God has been like, look, don't eat this, because if you eat this, you're, you're going to want to go to sleep. You're not going to do my work. You're not going to want to pray. You're not going to want to intercede. You're not going to want to read your Bible. You're not going to want to work on the book. You're not going to work, want to work on these projects. You know, um, don't, don't do this. <laughs> and you know, if we are, if we are really open and if we are obedient, God will instruct us on what types of foods to eat. And I really believe that if we're not careful, that enemy will use food as a tool to distract and to, dare, and to deter us from doing what God has called us to do. And so that's why we really have to be led by the spirit. So I've got a couple of scriptures that I just want to share with you. First Corinthians 10 and 31, it says, so whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it to the glory of God. So we're not saying that, you know, you can't eat, you can't enjoy food. Obviously food is nourishing for our bodies. But whatever you do, do it into the glory of the Lord and overeating and being way too full, doing too much in excess. That's not to the glory of God. Proverbs 23 and two says, put a knife to your throat if you are given to your appetite. Now, that may sound kind of callous. It may sound kind of crazy, but this is what the word of God is instructing us. If you find that your flesh is leading you to overeat, you need to put a knife to your throat. I believe like there's a scripture in the New Testament where it talks about, look, gouge out your eye, cut off your hand if it causes you to sin. And so that might mean that you need to like eliminate certain foods from your diet. If you know that you have a propensity to overeat every time you eat potato chips or every time you eat sugar, that uh, creates cravings um, in your body where you can't just stop. You can't just eat a piece of cake. You feel like you got to devour the whole cake. Look, Maybe, maybe God is saying, you know, cut off the cake, cut off sugar, do whatever is possible, kill the, kill the appetite, you know, don't allow yourself to be bossed around by your flesh because really God wants us to be full of him. And if we're not careful, we'll find ourselves getting full of the things of this world. And then we're trying to go to church and like trying to cram God in. We're trying to pray and just praying flat. You're trying to prophesy. You can't hear anything from the Lord because you're in a food coma. You're trying to read the Bible, but guess what? You're lazy. You're feeling bloated. You're feeling overweight. You don't want to do anything. And so my question today for you is, are you being full of God or are you full of food and, and the things of this world? So I want to encourage you today. I believe that God is going to speak to you. Um, we know that God gives us strategies. 
God will give us strategies. And so my prayer today is for me and for you, because guess what? This word cuts, it cuts both ways. The word of God says that, look, the word is powerful. It's sharp. It's like a double edged sword. So when God gives me a word to release to the people, he's also speaking to me too. And so father, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus, that God, you give us a desire of word to just be full of you and to be full of the things of you. Father, I ask God that Lord, you will show us Reveal to us, God, anything that serves as a barrier, God, between um, you and, and us, Lord. Um, anything, God, that's getting in the way, God. I pray against, Lord, just the spirit of this lawlessness with the flesh, just overeating, God, consuming the things of this world, God, um, not, not seeking you with our whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. God, I pray, Lord, that you will just renew our minds. God, I ask, Lord, that you will light up our fire, God, on the inside. God, give us a desire for the things of you. I pray, Lord, for the Holy Spirit, that there will be an unction of the Holy Spirit, God, to speak to us, to drive us, God, into our prayer times. God, Lord, if you're calling us on a fast, God, we will yield to the fast, God. But Lord, I pray, God, that we hunger and thirst for you that we hunger and thirst for your presence, God. Lord, we want to be full of you, God. We want to be vessels that, Lord, you can use. So, God, I ask, Lord, that you fill us up in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, your word says that those that live by the Spirit, Lord, that brings life and that brings peace. But, God, when we live by the flesh, Lord, that's death. That's lawlessness. God, we want to live by your spirit on today. So, Father, may your spirit lead us into the fullness of the things of you. God, I thank you, Lord, for awakening our ears, awakening our hearts, Lord, to just show us, God, if we have, Lord, um, just an unnatural relationship with food, God, if, if we have just an unnatural relationship with the things of this world, God, if we're making the things of this world, God, God's in our lives. God, if you're, if we're setting up idolatry, God, if, if we're worshiping uh, things outside of you, Lord, I ask God for you just giving us revelation right now in the name of Jesus, because God, we want to be full of you in Jesus's name. Amen. Well, you guys, I pray um, that you've been blessed by this message. This was just something that God placed on my heart. And for those of you, if this is your first time ever watching my, one of my videos, that's what I do. I just share a word from the Lord to just help jumpstart your day each and every day. And that's why I call it today's breakfast. So I pray that you've been blessed um, by this message. I also want to make sure that we stay connected just in ministry. For those of you that may not be familiar, I host a Christian talk show every Wednesday on Jubilee 690 AM at three o'clock. Also, I want to make sure you know about an upcoming conference that is being sponsored by uh, Women of Worth Conference, which is being sponsored by Higher Heights uh, Deliverance Church right here in St. Louis, Missouri. The host is First Lady Beverly Kendall. I will be uh, one of the panel speakers on that Saturday. But guess what? This is an amazing conference. I've attended for like the past five years. I always have a blessed time. So I got the flyer posted up. So I hope that you will take a look and I hope that you will join me um, at the Women of Worth Conference. Also, for those of you that know and follow this ministry, along with the daily broadcast that I do here on Facebook, I also host um, the radio show called Inspired Overflow. I am launching a webinar. Now this is a webinar for maybe you feel like you've been called into radio ministry. Maybe you just wanna know how to get involved. I'm sharing everything that I have learned over the course of six years, because guess what? I want to be able to sow. I want to be able to help the next generation of ministries and churches that want to get on the radio to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. So if you're interested in attending this webinar training, it's only 35 bucks. The information is on the screen on how you can register for this webinar. It is a video teaching, so you'll receive the video. You can watch it as many times as you want. You can watch it from the comfort of your home and learn how to launch a radio ministry from A to Z. All right, you guys. Well, that's my announcements for today. I hope that this breakfast has been a blessing to you. I'm going to be back tomorrow for tomorrow's word, and I can't wait to see what God puts on my heart to share with you. I bless you. In the name of Jesus, have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow.